What's up everyone, this is Totally Random, back here with another video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join the family. Alright, I know I haven't talked about this in a while, but it's been pretty big news recently that apparently the Deadpool 2 test screening went poorly. That's what some reports are saying. Um, like I said, apparently also a lot of DC fans are like, are uh, um, kind of like laughing out and saying, ha ha ha, Marvel's, also, Marvel's screwing up too, but you know what? To any DC fans out there, I'm a DC fan too. I'm a Marvel fan. Don't go out saying all this stuff, okay? It's just, it doesn't help you at all, okay? Um, but they, they're saying this all is similarity because now apparently Deadpool 2 is now going into all these extensive intense reshoots the way um, that um, the Justice League went under um, with Joss Whedon doing all that and messing it up and everything. And um, But yeah, so don't go and criticize that about that. But like I said, let's get back to the thing. Okay, so... Um, Fox has held at least one test screening for Deadpool 2 over the weekend, and their responses were reportedly not very good, with one anonymous source calling it a big mess. Um, it's important to note that all much of this information comes from anonymous sources, and that is all very much a rumor at this point. Plus, viewers at test screenings are all required to sign a non-disclosure agreement, which prohibits them from talking about the early cut of the movie that they saw. That being said, there could be some potential... All right, never mind. Um... Blogger Jeremy Conrad took to Twitter over the weekend to announce that someone close to him saw a test screening for Deadpool 2 and revealed that the initial reaction was not what he expected to hear. He said Fox screened Deadpool 2, Deadpool 2 tonight, not Dark Phoenix again, and yikes. First reaction wasn't what I expected to hear. Conrad didn't stop there and went a little bit more detail after some people asked what the problems were, again, spoiler alert, Conrad says it's about 30 minutes longer than the first movie and the plot is lacking and they waste the Vanessa character. Um, Jeremy Conrad was forced to take down his tweets by Fox after they threatened legal action. However, another Twitter user, Mike Kalinowski, also said that he heard similar fears that someone called it an Alien 3 blunder in regard to the story. Uh, Kellen Yoski had this to say, um, I've heard it's testing really poorly. They're stunned with what the audience, screening audiences are saying. I know people don't say much about it, but you cannot underestimate Tim Miller's contribution to getting Deadpool made. He made, he was one half the equation. Um, again, all this information is from unnamed sources, so it's best to take this with a grain of salt. Um. Deadpool has two new characters to introduce this time around, so there's going to be a lot going on here compared to the first movie, which may lend itself to the longer runtime. Fans are not going to be satisfied if the story of Cable is not properly told on the big screen. The, um, the same can be said for the Domino story in addition to setting up the X-Force movie as well. There's a lot of ground to cover for the sequel. This information has come from anonymous sources, so you can take what you want out of it. Tim Miller's absence was a red flag from the beginning, but the footage has been teased to the public for Deadpool 2. has been pretty epic so far. That's definitely true. Um, test screenings are usually done to make a movie better, and um, it still is a while before it happens. So they've got they've got time to fix it up. But like, yeah. But they did this same thing with the Justice League. But they Justice League they did it, and it was, they shouldn't have done it the way they should have gone with Zack Snyder's thing. And that's why all the fans are saying we want Zack Snyder's version and cut and everything. But like I said, this is this isn't good for Marvel. But I think they'll fix it up. But I'm really worried because like this is Deadpool. Deadpool was freaking awesome. That was like one of the hilarious and best super movies I've seen. So if this is gonna be, I hope it's not bad. But like I said, Tim Miller who did the first one, he was definitely part of that movie and definitely helped out with it. So we're gonna have to see. But like I said, I hope it's still good because the trailers and everything look good. So yeah, um, if you guys um, you guys post comments below, tell me, let me know your thoughts, what you thought about it, what you think about this. Is this bad or is this good? I mean, how do you think Deadpool's gonna be bad? I hope it's not. I really hope it's not. Um, as I said, post your thoughts below. Um, like this video, share this video, um, and if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and join the family. And I'll get back to you with another video soon. So, peace out.